Jeez, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a better fish. I feel like a grown up catching on a bait caster, man. <laughs> Hey there folks, welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. What are we gonna see on today's video? Well, you're gonna see a lot of big snakehead, a lot of fish in that 10 pound class, one fish over it, and I'm gonna hit on the lures that were most beneficial to use on this trip and what conditions throughout the day made them the right choice. We're gonna hit subsurface, we're gonna hit top water, we're gonna hit all of it. I also get my first snakehead on the bait caster, followed by a lot of other snakehead on my new bait caster paired with that excellent Katie Lynn Rod. Now aside from that, one more note I want to hit really quick is thanks very much because I just hit 1 million views on my YouTube channel. So thanks much for watching folks. And for right now, let's get to the fishing out here. And today I'm out here with my fellow Legion of Anglers teammate and captain, Rashawn, otherwise known as Infamous Fishing, and a guy we hit the water with for the first time, Adam. So you'll see him out here. It was good sharing the water with your brother. Right now, let's get to the action. On top, that's it. Top water it is. <laughs> you know it's a catfish, right? <laughs> there you go. On the, on there you the go. <laughs> and just like that, it's top water time. <laughs> I told you. Now here's the thing, dude. Do I dare test my bait casting throwing ability in this wind? It's gonna be a backlash right off the freaking cast. Yep. <laughs> now keep an eye on this cloud cover here, folks. I'll get into why it's so important later. <laughs> on the dragon buzz bait. That's my first snake hit on the bait caster, dude. Yeah, I literally just started using the bait caster. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Oh, that was too sweet. Hey, let me hold your fish, dude. I didn't get a picture of mine. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, in a way I let it go. Not in. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to shift, though, because I'm not, I'm not seeing him rise out here. I'm seeing him rising down here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go just to the left of Adam. Oh, got him. Got him. Adam's on. <laughs> no. <Nah, s> <laughs> we getting some more chances, brother. <laughs> they are stacked out there. Oh. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. <laughs> That's all right. I'm coming back for you. Oh, boom. <laughs> Jeez, yeah! That's a nice one. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Yeah, come on, baby. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. I feel like a grown up catching on a bait caster, man. <laughs> All right, where's that board, bro? I think it's time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. That's a, that might be dragon status almost right there, dude. That's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. So what I did with this fish is that Rashawn and I, we went to shore to actually give you a demo on how to set up and how to use your bump boards for the tournaments we have running to show you exactly how the fish should be positioned on there per the rules. Now I'll include all that video, all that footage, those explanations so you can avoid those pitfalls. I'll have all that in an upcoming video. So keep an eye out both on my channel and on the Legion of Anglers channel so you can get a look at those tips.
Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're shining his on. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> oh, man. There might be another decent one, too. You the laziest snakehead? Jeez, Louise. You saving it all for right now or what? Just get you all. Oh, oh. Cut it out now. No, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Come here, beautiful. Right? Oh, he barely hooked. Barely hooked. Hey, yo, that's a nice dark one, man. All right, beauty. Look how dark he is. God, it's a beautiful fish. So dark. All right, gorgeous. Go on now. Oh, got you. <laughs> That's a little guy. <laughs> oh, you got all those hooks, huh, girl? All right. Let's get you on grips. You're going to be in operation. Oh, I heard it. There you go, Adam. There you go, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to share those hooks with you. <laughs> there you go. Little fatty. There you go. All right, little buddy. Yeah. There she go. Oh, I'm enjoying my freaking buzz bait, dude. I ain't leaving this thing. Just had one blow up on and miss it. I mean, he blew up on it huge. Came out of the water for it. Come on. There he is. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. Now, my GoPro battery unfortunately died as I was reeling this fish in. So here are a few still shots of it. Great fish, just under 10 pounds. I wonder if the sun kind of chased them back out a little bit. I haven't seen any risers in a minute. So folks, you always hear me harp on the importance of cloud cover. The sun came out about five minutes ago, maybe six minutes ago. We haven't got a hit since it came out, man. <laughs> and we were nailing them before that. I mean, nailing them. So my guess is we're gonna need the sun to either go down a little bit or go back behind clouds and the bite will pick back up. But time will tell. When it comes to snakehead folks, I virtually always have better luck on broken cloud cover or cloud cover days. I think that's because snakehead are very sensitive to threats from above, like eagles, ospreys, things like that. Now, one thing you can do if the topwater bite dies when the sun comes out is to try subsurface techniques. I'm gonna try a fluke here in a second. You're gonna see me tie on the blade waker. You'll see how I adjust my tactics based on these new conditions. Oh, there you are. I kept trying to twitch it and I couldn't feel it. I was like, what's going on here? And then I saw the swirl swimming at me. <laughs> That's on the zoom fluke, folks. That sun came out, so I decided to go subsurface because I didn't see him rising anymore. Where Sean just got one on the blade waker. And oh. Here's mine on the old Zoom Fluke, man. Old classic. Used to fish these. Come here, sucker. <laughs> Used to fish these things all the time for bass and pickerel back in the day. And they work at least as well for snakehead. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I'm on, folks, and it's a nice fish. I don't know how nice because it's got a lot of grass on it right now, but it is a nice fish. Those clouds cover the sun for a little bit. <laughs> Yes, come here, beautiful. Come on over here. There you go. Doubled up. Rashawn, you're up. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now that one, folks, came on the blade waker. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Look at that. He choked it too, man. He choked it. He was not playing games. Did I want it? Oh, no. I almost had it, dude. I almost had it. Man, I might have to harvest this fish. 
Well, it's like he, he had swallowed it, and then I got it out, and then it, as I got it out, he shook, and it went even deeper. Now I can't even see the hook. Yes! Ha-ha! Look at that beauty. God, these fish are gorgeous. Oh, man. I might still harvest that fish. That's, that's like a perfect eating size fish. But there it is, folks. The Blade Waker. Check it out. Techo Lure. I'll leave a link in the description. Folks, I just texted Adrian, my wife, if you don't know, that the fishing is fire. You know what she said? Stay till it's over. When I tell you I got a good woman, I swear to God, I got a good woman. <laughs> Thanks, baby. The sun's getting low in the sky, and these fish are turning on. Sound like when you said that, it sounds like a uh, fucking adventure. <laughs> oh, nice jump. Thank you. Oh, he's trying to break your rod tip now. That's a good note for you folks at home, too. You don't want to get your line wrapped around your tip, especially when a snakehead's still attached, because they will break it. Those death rolls are powerful. And if it's wrapped around the tip, the line can't go anywhere. It just puts all that pressure right on the tip of your rod. And that will break. All right. Look your most intelligent. It's gonna be tough, man. <laughs> uh, three. There you go. Thanks, dude. Tell me which thing. Do it again. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. Actually, no. I was gonna harvest you, wasn't I? Yeah. You almost made it. You almost made oh, it. Oh, I get it. There he goes. Just skating him in. <laughs> Dad, I just saw you again. I just saw you rise. One just rose right there. I guess I'll put the blade waker back on, man. I wanted that top water. But here's a green sunfish running around, man. He's scared. Oh, there you are. There you are. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Holy crap, he smashed it. Oh, nice fish. Oh, wow. Come on. Those head shakes are massive. It might be. That might be a double digit. Oh. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Oh, it's a nice fish, dude. Oh, f yeah. Oh, dude. That's a big fish, bro. That's fish of the day so far, right there. Oh, she's she's bleeding too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's a fish. Took it deep though. Holy. There we go. There we go, big hoss. We're gonna go measure you. Pretty much. Rate at 29, dude. Rate at 29. Thick back on her. Oh, she's thick. Or he. Could be he. Yep, it's just under 10. Just under 10. Jesus. Oh, add him on. There you go. Look at that beauty. Look at you using. God, you beautiful fish. Throw him up in the shot. There he goes. All right, gorgeous. Ah, oh, thank you for the ride. <laughs> if you've seen my tide and the snakehead bite video, you know that I love fishing the mouth of creeks and the mouth of bays. It seems to be a place they really congregate, and today was no different. The mouth of this bay was absolutely fire. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is! That wasn't even the one I was aiming for either. <laughs> oh, that's another good one, dude. Holy Oh, I got so much grass on here. It's another it's a big fish though. It's another good fish. Oh. Yeah, it's another really good fish. God bless America. What a freaking day, dude. Oh, 
<laughs> yes, do all of that. <laughs> Love it. Look at the belly on that puppy. That, that, that's, that's a 10. That's a 10. Lord God. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> oh. Hook just came right out. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm coming your way, bro. If that fish ain't full of eggs, nobody is. Let's see what we got. I'm letting pressure off. Oh, that's oh, what 11 and a half, 11 and a half, baby. 11 and a half. What do you need? <laughs> Look at the belly on it. You got this double digit. It's Look only 12, it's 11 and a half. Man, it's bleeding. Yeah, Are you getting any gills? a little bit, but it should be fine. I've seen these oh. fish swim off from so much, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, yep. Thanks, dude. The mouth of creeks and bays, man. Hard to beat. I know you're gonna swim off strong. I know you are. Oh, let go. Let go. There you go. Go on. That way. <laughs> Whew. So folks, that was almost it, but just for good measure on the way out, had to nail a nice bass too. And that bass came on the high octane chatterbait. Make sure you check them out as well. Link in the description. It's been catching some good fish for me lately. But I think I covered enough tips and everything in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the action too. Thanks again to Rashawn and Adam for joining me on the water today. If you have any questions about the gear, whether it be rods, reels, lures, make sure you check out those links in the video description. Keep an eye out for more videos coming out. And aside from that, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, folks. And have a good one.